so in previous video we have discussed about uh, uh, single inheritance okay single inheritance means you have only one base class and one derived class okay uh, so with the help of derived class with the help of derived class what you are going to do you are going to uh, access the base class with the help of derived class object so what is your derived class so child is your derived class with the help of derived class object you are going to access the methods of uh, both parent class and child class next one is multi level inheritance multi level inheritance means it has different levels okay it has different levels three levels that is first level is your base class second level is your derived class third level is your derived class okay so one base class and two derived class so the second derived class will act as a base class for this third one okay the second box will act as a base class for this third derived class so that is a multi level inheritance so the better example for multi level inheritance is grandparent parent and then child okay i will show you an example you will understand better so see in this example here i am going to create three classes okay here i am going to create three classes first class is grandparent second class is parent and third class is child okay here i am going to create three classes so grandparent is a base class so parent is your derived class then this child is your another derived class another derived class so uh, grandparent is your base grandparent is your base class so this is the uh, this is the derived class so this is an another derived class multi level inheritance means one base class and two derived class so this derived class is a base class for this uh, which means this parent derived class is a base class for this child derived class so see the example i am just creating a class called grandparent okay i am just creating a class called grandparent i am specifying colon here which means uh, i am making indentation after that what i am going to do is i am just declaring a method okay i am just declaring a method Uh, that is g display g display is my method that is grandparent display so that i am giving g display so how can i declare a method in python with the help of def keyword so always uh, always the methods that you have declared under the class should have an argument called self okay should have an argument called self inside that g display i am just printing a message called grandparent okay so then i am going to create a class for my derived class okay one base class i have created my base class as grandparent then second uh, base class first base class second base class second base class is also a derived class okay which is derived from grandparent okay so class parent uh, so this parent uh, parent is acquiring the properties of where it is acquiring the properties from grandparent in previous example class child child is acquiring the properties of parent so here parent is a a derived class which is acquiring the properties of base class what's your base class grandparent is your base class so inside the parenthesis you need to pass the base class as an argument here what's your base class grandparent is your base class so i am passing base class as my argument inside the parent class okay so then i am just declaring an another uh, method called p display p display with the help of def keyword p display with the help of def keyword so here i am passing an only one argument called self so inside that i am printing a message called parent okay then then what i am going to do is i am just creating a another class that is my grandparent is over my parent is over now which class i want to create i want to create a child class so child class child class is dependent on which class child class is dependent on parent class so here what i want to pass as an argument i want to pass parent as an argument inside that also i am declaring a method called c display with only one argument called self here i am printing a child so now uh, for now what object i need to create which uh, uh, for which class i need to create an object because this child class is acquiring the properties of this parent class this parent class is acquiring the properties of this grandparent class okay this grand gran grandparent class so you need to create an object you need to create an object for this particular child class only you need to create an object for this particular child in previous example in single inheritance example for what we have created or created an object we have created an object for child class with the help of child class object only we are accessing the parent classes so likewise in this example you are creating an object for this third that is third third class what's your third class third class is child class so my object name is c1 so the syntax is 
object name which is equal equal to class name inside uh, after class name you have to mention parenthesis so with the help of this object name what is this object name with the help of the c1 i'm just accessing the method stored inside grandparent class uh, parent class and child class so what's the method stored in grandparent class g display appo object name c1 dot g display then c1 dot what's the method stored inside grandparent class p display appo c1 dot p display what's the method stored inside child class c1 dot c display okay likewise you are going to perform multi level inheritance multi level inheritance means multiple levels so you have one base class and two derived class so the second derived class will be a base class for third one okay this that is the second box we have seen no second box is a derived class which is a base class for third box okay so uh, uh, it is similar to your grandparent parent child relationship in program what you are doing you are just creating a three classes grandparent class parent class and child class so parent class is acquiring the properties of grandparent class so inside the parenthesis inside the parent class you are you are specifying grandparent as an argument inside the child class you are specifying parent as an argument you are going to create object only for your child class okay what's the Uh, what's then what's an object for your child class c1 is, is an object for your child class with the help of this c1 object you are going to access the method stored inside grandparent class parent class and child class what's the method stored inside grandparent class g display c1.g display c1.p display c1.c display are you clear thank you